Hello, Scott Wonder here from Wonderwoods. Welcome to another Wonderwoods video. In the last video, I went to the Lincoln County Old Threshers Association show, and it's basically um, it's an agricultural show. They have tractor pulls, um, old tractors, old sawmill. Specifically, the reason I went, um, and other equipment like that, agricultural equipment. Um, it was pretty cool to see the old sawmill. It was from the early 1920s, and um, it runs at a pretty decent speed, actually, but it's hand-set um, and, and all manual, so it takes a lot of effort to get the logs in and out and things like that. And so this week, I went to Mueller Brothers Timber up in Old Monroe, about 15-minute drive from my shop, and I thought it'd be cool to see the comparison between the sawmill um, from, as my daughter would say, ye olden days, and what's going on now to produce lumber. At Mueller Brothers Timber, they cut approximately, cutting only three days a week, cut, um, their target is 140,000 board feet um, a week. So it's a pretty cool operation. I go up there pretty often. I buy lumber there, um, look for logs, just in case there's a log that I can't pass up. And I uh, just like to watch the sawmill run to see lumber come off there because I think it's really cool. I think you're going to enjoy it. Everything starts at the log yard and they have a big log yard. Under sprinkler they have 700,000 board feet of logs. They keep the sprinkler on them to keep them from cracking, basically drying out, to keep them in good shape before they cut them. To give you an idea, 700,000 board feet equates to about 200 semi truck loads you can get about 3500 to 4000 board feet of logs on the semi truck the first stop for the logs is the debarker it removes the bark obviously but that's not what we're really trying to do we're trying to get all the dirt and rocks and crap off the logs because that's what dulls all the saw blades we're gonna get the bark off of there and this debarker actually if they want to can make the butt a little smaller on that log. You can see he's working on that a little bit. He can kind of shape the log a little bit to make it fit in the sawmill better. After the debarker, it goes to the head saw, which is basically just the first saw that the logs run into. It's two circular saws with a 56 inch and a 36 inch saw. So as soon as you turn it, is that when it scans the log? Yeah. Like once you got it set in place? Once I put the dog on it. Oh. I open it up. Yeah. Flip it. As soon as I hit the dog. Then it scans it? So you yeah. set it for like a six inch opening cut or something like that? Yeah, I've already built it. Six inch by some length, right? Yeah. Is we it got, four feet? We or got is it longer? Inches, yeah. So the opening cut will be six by ninety-six. Yep. Sometimes like this one, if it don't open up right away, I do it. Yeah, tweak it. Yeah. Get a little more off there so I can get a better board. Right. This video was shot just before lunch. Take a look at the scanner screen up there. In the bottom right hand corner, there's a tally. They got to about 20,000 before lunch and they cut about 35,000 to 40,000 board feet per day. Do you decide when to flip it or is it telling you to flip it? I decide. Okay. Twenty by twenty up there. It'll take a twenty by twenty. Yeah. 
but is that as big as that will fit through the metal detector? Yep. Well, it's as big as the salt, the reef salt will open. Well, oh, but I got you. You can probably fit a 21 inch up in there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can't. You can't saw it. can't saw it, so it don't make no difference. So as the log's being cut, he's making decisions on where the piece that he cut is going. The first cut will go down to the trash. You'll see it where the conveyor will drop down. The slab will get cut off and it'll go down there and it goes to the bottom of the sawmill. There's a whole line of conveyors around the bottom of the sawmill that goes out to the chipper to chip everything up. Now the conveyor comes back up and all the boards go to the edger now. Notice his control station at the edger. He can adjust that for lengths. If he's doing short lumber, he can move it forward. Back for long lumber. And it puts two laser lines on there so he can see where he's gonna cut. He adjusts the width of the cut, goes through the edger, and makes a finished board. Now this is the other side of the edger, the same edger, but from the other angle so you can see what happens. Good lumber goes up and out to the trimmer, and then the trash goes down, down to the lower conveyors and out to the chipper. After the log is squared up, it's called a cant. The cant is sent upstairs by going down a conveyor and then onto a scissor lift and then up through another conveyor and through a metal detector before it goes up to the runaround resaw. The runaround resaw is basically just like a merry-go-round for cans. It keeps going around and around and around, keeps getting cut and cut and cut until there's nothing left. The runaround resaw is a twin band resaw, so there's two band saws. Each band saw is running an eight inch wide band and they're both a hundred horsepower a piece. That one you're cutting two four quarters. Yep. This one's looking really low grade. Yep. Just to, after I cut these two boards, it'll be blocking. So two four quarter off of that side yep. and then a block out of that. Yep. Like this one, two blocking. Two blocks? Yep. Even though that side looks pretty decent? Yeah, it's gonna it's not gonna be good on the inside of it. This is low grade. That top one's good still. Yeah. So I'll take that one more time. Gotcha. Take Next a board quarter off that side. Yeah. It's dead after that. And then it'll come back around. I'll cut two pieces of blocking out of it. Like this one's no good already. Like it's already sized and everything. Yeah. So I'll just cut that, goes, that goes to block right yep. away. Right away. This next one's got a good face coming at you. Yep. 
got a good face, you're always cutting two four quarter. Yep. Just because the saw is cut in two. Yep. This one's nice. And now that's all going to the edge of that one. Yeah. See? Now this one I'll switch it to trimmer. Oh. You're telling it to go to trimmer or edger? Yep. I got you. Fully edged, obviously, just goes to the trimmer. Yep. What if one goes to trimmer and one goes to edger? Too it bad. It, yeah, it doesn't happen. <laughs> they both go they wherever both you tell them. Yeah. So if one needs to be edged, they're both going to the edger. Yep. Yep. And then he just sends it through without edging it. Yep. Here's a good one. Oh. Good on three faces. Yep. Oh. Uh, they're all kind of bad. No, that was it. That was better. Yeah. That's the one it should have given. Yeah. But when it's the same crappy grade on all sides, Pretty you're much. just you're just thinking about trying to keep the pits centered, right? Yep. yep. The next one you can see it's crappier on the top, better yep. on that side, really better on that side. Yeah. Good on three sides? Nope. Good on two. Here's the outfeed side of the twin bandsaw run around resaw. Give you a better view of what's happening with the saws. They move for each cant that goes through after he picks what they're going to do. So you can see them move in and out for each cut or each double cut depending on what he specified. This is Mario. He works in a room right above the twin band resaw to maintain the blades and grind them down to resharpen them. He'll keep grinding them down from eight inches down to five and a half or until they break. So here's the view from up high. It's set up like this because they have a crane reaches down that's the top of the bandsaw right there the crane comes out and picks up the bandsaw blades to take them up into that room to file them because well they're kind of heavy and they're kind of awkward to work with after the boards come out you can see here where they get separated and get sent on their way the cants are going up and back around to keep getting cut and the good boards are getting separated and sent out to either the edger or the trimmer, depending on what he specified. Now watch this next one right here. It'll send the trash down, close back up, and then send the cant back up to go around. This is the edger for the resaw, and you can see it works the same way. Edges the board, the trash goes down, the edge board goes out to the line that takes it out to the trimmer. All the conveyors underneath the sawmill come out to the chipper here. The chipper goes up to a separator. The separator basically takes the good chips, the smaller chips, you can see them falling out there. They go out and get blown into a truck, it's finished mulch. And bigger pieces go back down to the chipper to go through again before they end up in the truck. This is the trimmer saw, or saws, it's a bank of saws. There's seven saws in there. Watch how it gets everything situated, puts them over to the edge, divided in two foot increments, Except for the very end closest to us, there's a one foot saw, so that gives them a chance to pick an uneven length.
this is the end of the line for the lumber. It gets a rough grade mark on it. And then it goes into one of four lines, depending on length. Different lengths, it goes to a different conveyor. After it goes down the conveyor, then it goes down to another little green chain and then gets separated by the grade that was put onto it and then stacked and ready to ship out.